the mighty Mississippi, the third longest river in North America, vital to America's shipping and agriculture economy. But what happens when it dries up? The answer is number seven on our top 10 weather events of 2022. As drought expanded and worsened throughout the United States in the late summer and fall, the Mississippi River's water levels dropped significantly. From its source in Minnesota all the way to Louisiana, severe to exceptional drought took hold September and October. Simultaneously, a flash drought developed in the Ohio Basin. The Ohio River provides the majority of downstream flow into the lower Mississippi River. We've been in drought for several months across the Midwest and the upper parts of the Mississippi. And then really over the last month and month and a half, we really haven't had a lot of rainfall over the Ohio Valley. So we are getting down to pretty low levels on the Mississippi. 2012 was the most recent long-standing severe drought for the lower Mississippi River Basin. While water levels usually drop in October, these extremely low river levels are very unusual. On October 18th, the water dropped to a record low of 10.79 feet below the baseline water depth at Memphis. The river was so dry that people walked across sections of the riverbed without getting wet. As water levels drop, the impacts to American life have increased. The Mississippi River is a major source for agriculture and industry, whether from farmland near the river or for transporting crops, fertilizer, and goods. Three quarters of the world's feed grain travels the Mississippi. If the water is too low, barges can't safely move downstream. It's causing navigation issues on the lower part of the Mississippi River because the depth is not as deep and also the width is smaller because of the lack of water that we have in the river system itself. It doesn't allow for the barging companies to be able to fill their barges up quite as much and doesn't allow them to have as many barges as they're going up and downstream. And unfortunately, this is the time of year where a lot of the grain in the Midwest is being shipped down the river system, down towards the New Orleans area. And then conversely, fertilizers and stuff are trying to move their way up northward towards the Midwest as well. So it's really hampering the navigation community at this time. Stuck barges means delivery delays, shortages of certain items, and higher prices for consumers. During the worst of the low water levels, which coincided with harvest season in September and October, the cost of transporting a metric ton of goods on barges went from $20 to $100. There have been some improvements in water levels over the last month, thanks to recent rain, including some from Hurricane Ian. So Ian produced about one to three inches over the eastern parts of the Ohio Valley, and it gave us roughly about a foot to two foot of water on the river, but that was very temporary. So we need several inches of rainfall, and that's occur over several weeks uh, to be able to help and alleviate some of the low water conditions we have on the lower Mississippi. And the lower Mississippi River Basin is still in severe drought from Illinois to the Gulf. For more on our top weather events of 2022, go to weathernationtv.com. For Weather Nation, I'm meteorologist Kara James.